New at six, it's been a tough nearly two years as we've all dealt with the unprecedented times in the pandemic. One Valley English professor is leaning into something that he hasn't done for 25 years, art. As Team 12's Colleen Sikora shows us, he's not only finding joy in just the creative process, but also in spreading positivity to others in the community. Looking wide, it's easy to miss the details. Move closer and stop for a minute. I think I'm about ready to go into some of the paint. Or three hours with Michael Feather. Yeah. It's enough time for more than a quick glance. Ice cream cone lights, some of them are green. At the ordinary around us. But it really is just about seeing the beauty in a, a building, which we don't typically think of as beautiful. Beauty in downtown Gilbert. I started drawing again in September. In the midst of a pandemic. I just really struggled. I just felt like I was having a harder time seeing good. But a question. A friend of mine knew that I had done art years and years ago and said, have you thought about trying that again? Led to much more. Since it's calmed my brain down, <laughs> given me um, an opportunity to actually look for joy. Urban sketching with ink and watercolors next to the road's ever-changing radio. You just never know what the soundtrack is going to be. Painting in public. Dang, that looks great. Thank you. That's really cool. Thank you. Maybe it's just watercolors, right? Yep, and ink. That is so cool. Then posting on social media. What I kept hearing was, uh, keep doing this because it's so encouraging to have something positive in our Facebook feed. So that really opened my eyes that this could be something encouraging for other people and not just for me. After seeking the joy. I think that my family would tell you I'm a more calm, better person <laughs> when, when I've been out drawing. And this is where it's challenging, is knowing where, when it's done. Now sharing that joy through the details. It seems like we would be able to care for one another and do an awful lot of those things if we just took a little bit more time to look at what is right in front of us. Colleen Sikora, 12 News.